everyone. Are you ready to do your math learning today? Great stuff. Let's get started with some counting warm-ups. Ready? Shake out those hands so you can show your finger patterns and shout out the numbers nice and loud. Ready, set, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and what's that? 20. That's right. Well done, everyone, if you managed to do the counting with me. Don't forget, the best learners practice counting every day. They can count forwards and they can count backwards too. I wonder what sorts of things you will count around your house today. What number am I showing? That's right. Three. Ready? Let's do it again. What number am I showing? That's right, four. This time, can you show me the number five? That's right, high five. <laughs> numbers are so much fun. And today we're going to be looking a little bit more at numbers you already know lots about. The numbers zero, one, two, three, four, and five. What do you remember about those numbers? Do you remember how to write them? Let's practice together because that's going to be your comfort task for today. Ready? Your comfort task today is to write neat numbers. Do you remember the rhymes? Around and round we go. When we get home, we've written a zero. Start at the top, down you run. That's the way to write a one. Around and back on the railway track. Two, two, two. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to write a three. Down and over, down some more, that's the way to make a four. Down and around, then a flag on high. That's the way we write our five. Your teachers are really looking forward to seeing how beautifully you can write <laughs> your numbers. Let's take a closer look at the challenge task today. So what you need to do is get yourself a sheet and write the numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, and of course I need to write the number five down and around with a flag on high. So make yourself a number track like this. Write the digits neatly down the side and then show the number with objects. One goes with one Viennese whirl. Yum. Two. Well, I found two Christmas decorations. Three. Hmm. I found three pens. One, two, three. Four. What can I find four of? One, two, three, four, Numicon. Five, I went into the kitchen and I found some beans. But I'm counting them out carefully so that they match the digit I've written. There you have it. I've written the digits and I've shown the numbers with objects. So I'm going to try this activity again with different objects this time. One, Hello Kitty. Two, Legos. Three, Bottle Lids. Four, pasta shapes and my number five. Well, can you guess? It's a Numicon five. Yay. Try this activity as many times as you can in different ways. It's up to you. How will you show the number with objects from around your house? I hope you find lots of different ways. And if you want to push yourself even further after you've done that, why not try drawing your ideas onto your piece of paper? You might use dots, sticks, or you might even use some number bonds that you remember. Best of luck and don't forget to take a picture of your super duper learning so that your teachers will be able to see too. Bye bye. <laughs>